Libra, this is your week ahead astrology forecast by Astrology Motivation from Born Without Boundaries. In these weekly videos, I review the major planetary aspects and transits and what they mean for your bottom line because of how they are interacting with your natal suns. All you need to understand this video is to know your birth date. That's it. Everything else I'm going to translate for you. This is for the week of August 1st through the 7th, 2023. I have my notes written down here. Um, I'm going to start out really, really broad with the big stuff. The stuff that is impacting everybody, essentially. And then I'm going to focus the information down into Libra-specific information. And then I will break things down into the three decans of Libra. Let's dig in. First, we're going to start really broad. Okay, Libra, where we always do. We always start really broad. There's a full moon today. That's August 1st, and it's a full moon in Aquarius. So um, for a specific set of Libras, you will actually be um, trying to this full moon, and we'll get into what that means for you guys in particular. Um, a moon in Aquarius is all about how you feel you've been you've impacted others like are you important to others have you done something good by others so there's a lot of emotion around those subjects those topics or how you feel others have been treated those kind of things are very aquarius moon energy so there is a full moon in aquarius which means that the emotions around those subjects are going to be very broad they're going to be big and they're going to be overwhelming in some cases. So there is a sense of feeling motivated to do something, to make the world a better place, to be a bigger contributor to your society or to your community, whatever you consider that being. Also, needing to tell the truth, needing to purge, to actually... Um, get things off of your chest to be honest and open and out loud about especially those things that you feel odd about so all of those things can come up around this full moon in Aquarius this full moon in Aquarius is also square to Jupiter which means everything all emotions that it's bringing are exaggerated they're going to be um kind of volumized or made bigger or impact more people than you realize so there's there's these feelings that you could be having that actually impact people and that could actually bring you closer or into different kinds of groups or communities that you didn't even realize that you could ever fit into or that or be important to um what i do know and i'm sure of about aquarius energy is it does like to surprise people it does like to be undefinable so there is that sense of surprise that could come along with this full moon as well um this whole week long the sun is square to jupiter but it's also uh says a square or uh says a quadrat if i'm saying that right i i apologize if i'm pronouncing that wrong um it's um i call it says a square to neptune so with the Sun square Jupiter and says a square to Neptune, thinking we can do too much, deception, delusions of grandeur that need to be challenged. This doesn't necessarily have to be you guys. It, it, it means that you could be dealing with that in your life or that there's a lot of people in your life that you're realizing that, you know, you're talking to them and they're talking, you know, these big, big ideas, but ultimately are they going, are they able to pull through on those ideas? Um, are they able, they may be presenting larger than life, but is there a gravity to what they're promising? It's not that they're intentionally lying, but there is this sense of hoping beyond the reality or promising beyond the reality that kind of energy um we also have by the sixth of this week we have so at, toward the end of this week the sun is going to be trying to the moon which is moved out of Aquarius and it's moved into Aries and the moon will conjunct Chiron in Aries and for some of you that will be you'll be in direct opposition to that um, you'll be in direct opposition to that on the 6th, 
What does that mean? Well, the sun trying the moon is healing. Healing our sense of self and our sense of personality and healing our sense of or, or feeling at ease or there's a balance between what we feel inside and who we are. The fact that the moon is conjunct Chiron means there is healing when it comes to or we've learned about who we are in a deeper way because of our experiences sort of making peace with our past could even be making peace with our maternal energy parental energy this could be a great time to heal or to see those aspects in yourself that are like your mother um and making peace with that whether or not they've been favored to you favorable to you your whole life there could just be some if especially if there's been wounds or injuries there could be a time of at least not saying that you make peace with the person but to say that you've made peace with the past or feeling a sense of connection in yourself that you haven't felt so that could be a really beautiful energy um i marked down i said beautiful day um, because there is that sense of peace and tranquility and healing with that past. Also on the 6th, the sun will be trying to Chiron, right? So that's really by the 6th and that will continue past the 6th. But that's also a beautiful energy of bringing to light those challenges, those traumas in the past, of feeling driven to um, accept them and incorporate them into who you are and how you view yourself and not be ashamed anymore. A lot of this week is releasing and relinquishing shame or at least being able to determine what really does, what really is shameful versus what what you shouldn't be ashamed of at all um we have venus all week uh trying to the north node and chiron and since venus is your ruling dignitary this has a profound impact on you guys there is that sense of um healing up old wounds past hurts um different kinds of especially romantic energy because venus is still in leo um financial because venus rules finances there is this sense of value and worth that is healing especially healing through tough life lessons and having learned the hard way um being able to make peace with those lessons but we also have venus uh, like i said trying the north node so there's something there's something very positive about that energy for the future this sense of somehow putting things right when it comes to what we we place our value on and our value systems moving forward um we also have venus square to uranus which means it is still particularly rebellious and you could be there's surprise in the air as to who you find yourself attracted to or what appeals to you or like starting to see value outside of the norm right challenging the norm when it comes to what you normally were attracted to or found appealing and those type of things could be going through a major shift right now so let's get into Libra specific energy. So what is happening in the zodiac sign of Libra? We have the south node, which is all about the things that we know we're good at, those things from the past that we've kind of settled into and feel good in it because it's a comfort zone. It's, it's, it's common to us. And since the South Node is in Libra, this has to do with partnerships, but it could also have to do with complacency in those areas. So the South Node is going to actually be moving between 28 and 27 degrees Libra this week. Um, Venus, your ruling dignitary, is in retrograde. It's going to be in retrograde through the beginning of October. This week it moves in Leo from 26 degrees to 23 degrees. Um, she is trying to Chiron all week long. So healing the path, almost like healing, seeing beauty in our challenges, seeing beauty that came from our challenges or our wounds or injuries or even physical injuries. Um, and then we have trying to the North Node, which means um, feeling a sense of comfort and feeling a sense of um, tranquility when it comes to change or being a attracted to or connected to more 
things that are different, things th things that are different for you, things that are opposite than what you normally would have um, trusted or found appealing. And then we also have a square to Uranus, which is sort of which sort of superpowers that energy, it super fuels that energy, where Venus isn't being be, Venus is agitated by the old right she just wants something new she wants something new maybe in romance maybe in attractiveness maybe in finance whatever this energy of putting value on she's not wanting to put value on what she normally put value on so there is a huge kind of change and a shifting of our dynamics and what we consider desirable or valuable right now Let's break things down into the decans, Libra. Um, if you know that your natal sun is between zero and one degrees Libra, you are a Libra one. Um, this correlates to birthdays, basically September Libras, people who were born between September 22nd and maybe up through October 1st, you would be Libra ones. So Libras, you Libra one, you have your um, long-term aspect to Pluto which is a trine to Pluto but only if you're at the very cusp of Virgo so that would be September 22nd maybe September 23rd birthdays and um, that is long term so there is a tranquility in change and a very um peaceful persuasion to your energy right now so that you will be considered very formidable but without the essence of being domineering or intimidating so this is actually a very powerful time for your energy over the next couple of years to make a powerful impression on people um, you also have a long-term quincunx to Saturn, which means you're rubbing up against or feeling agitated or held back by laws, rules, regulation, and the status quo. And that could be, that friction could be, um, for the, that's happening for the next year, that could be a source of inspiration for you. But this full moon, if you were born especially around the 1st, 2nd, or 3rd of October, which definitely goes into the 2nd decan, um, you are trying to this full moon in Aquarius. So, um, because the full moon happens at nine degrees Aquarius. So there is a sense of making peace with what you really believe inside and feeling really good, like healing somehow or being able to heal some, some sense of obligation or responsibility, especially for your community or your sense of, um, I, I would say social justice, but that has a, so yeah, social justice in a way of, um, sort of somehow making peace with it or realizing that you really believe in it now. That could be a revelation that really happens around this time. Or if there has been like a larger community thing, there's a sense of finding where you belong or finding that you really fit in and knowing knowing where what really feels good to you. Um, let's go on to Libra twos. If you know that your natal sun is between 10 and 19 degrees Libra, you are Libra twos. This correlates to birthdays between say October 2nd through the 10th or 11th. That's you guys. Your natal suns are sextile to the sun now. And remember Libra twos, if you're born in the beginning like of Libra two, say around the second or third, your natal suns are also going to be trying to that full moon. So the same thing, this sense of really feeling at home and comfortable with what you feel toward social justice issues or community issues or even a sense of uh, desire to help them heal in some ways. Um, but your natal suns all week long for all of you are sextile to the sun. So this is more confidence, want to be seen, definitely getting seen, an opportunity to be seen, an opportunity to have strength and courage and use your strength and use your courage to make opportunities open for you. This is a very charismatic time for you. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, for some of you, especially those born around the second or third, this could come in the form of bringing attention or bringing light to different issues that you're really 
having strong feelings toward. But this doesn't have to be national, right? It doesn't have to be stuff you're announcing on social media. It could just be doing charitable work, you know, contributing in a philanthropic way or or doing something about a community issue. Um, Jupiter is quincunx to your natal suns so this could be just needling under the skin because you want to grow and expand and you're excited and you can't wait to do it though this may be frustrating energy in terms of knowing where to put it i think this week you will definitely have room for that energy to expand yourself um your natal suns are in opposition to Chiron, especially if you're born the 9th or 10th or 11th of October. It's your natal suns that will be in that will be in opposition to Chiron. It's in opposition to Chiron all week long regardless, but the moon is going to conjunct Chiron on the 6th. So this could be a particularly emotional day that stirs and stimulates um, activity in you to want to make something right or want to do something with regards to an injury or a sadness or a difficult lesson from the past. This sense of feeling it, understanding it, knowing it, and not being able to rest until you do something about it. So this is an atypically inspirational week for you to want to get out there and take action. Um, yeah, let's go on to Libra threes. So Libra threes, if you know that your neighbor na natal sun is between 20 and 29 degrees Libra, you are Libra threes. Um, this correlates to birthdays in October between anywhere from the 11th through the 22nd, 11th or 12th through the 22nd, especially if you're born around the, the 11th um, or 12th, your natal suns are conjunct to the south node and they are also in opposition to Chiron. So what does this mean? Well, conjunct to the south node there's an there's an understanding that this is almost shining for what you're comfortable in a real embracing of where you come from who you are getting really um like getting really comfortable with your talents and your skills and and wanting people to see them that's a really beautiful energy because opportunity can come through that because the south node is in libra there could be also a sense of getting more comfortable in a sense of partnership with other people um you have a long-term square to pluto which is looking for change but when it comes to your natal sun square pluto there is a sense of authority and dominance about you that can cause intimidation so there is a sense of that that, that that is not necessarily bad but know that you will have a very formidable presence to you in everything that you do now for the next couple of years so you may come off a little strong if you notice that you're conflicting with more people or more people, like as soon as you walk into the room, people are not trusting you. Um, it's because they they can feel this Pluto square your natal sun. It can make you much more psychic, but also much more probing. And you'll cause, you could create a sense of like discomfort in people without even wanting to or being aware of it. Um, but now you are aware of it. Your natal suns this week are sextile to Venus. So this week there is a sense of getting what you want, especially in relationships or money. This sense of looking really sexy, feeling really good, and being able to have a huge impact on people's attractiveness to you. Like they're drawn to you. You have a major sexuality and sensuality this week because of that sextile to Venus. Um, but that square to Pluto is also it's there right so this is just going to sort of exacerbate your attractiveness and your sex appeal because Venus is in retrograde this could also be people finding you attractive or finding aspects of yourself attractive where you once did not especially since Venus is also square to Uranus your natal suns are quincunx to Uranus so there is a sense of stirring it up a general sense of rebellion around you so you have a lot of energy Libra th threes to actually make dynamic changes or bring the change 
into situations that you find yourself in. You let me know in the comments below how this energy is impacting you guys. I would love to know. Um, and please come on over to Born Without Boundaries Tarot to share with me your tarot card message for the week. Don't forget to subscribe before you log off. I love you guys and I'll see you in the videos.